what a case for himself, J.J. McCarthy is. Other things we learned about the quarterback class at the 2024 Scouting Combine, Peter. McCarthy competed, and I love that. And yeah. so did Michael Penix Jr. Those guys competed. Now, J.J.'s interview there was just part of the whole piece in that he interviewed really well with teams. He comes in, he is dialed in. I mean, this is like... You're talking about a pro's pro as far as saying the right things and knowing how to get on the board. I was told by one team that he got up on the board and was able to dissect things that no other quarterback that they met with could yesterday. Wow. So that tells you he's got the mentals. My thought was, all right, he answered that question well, but this is going to haunt him. Against Penn State, they ran the ball 32 straight times without attempting a pass. That's like Jimmy Garoppolo in that NFC Championship game where they blow out the Packers and he only threw eight passes and we held it against Garoppolo. Like, well, he only threw eight passes. Does J.J. have the arm strength all that? He threw the ball pretty well. Now, he missed a couple. I'm not going to come in here and sugarcoat it and tell you he was awesome. He was fine. The part that I thought was interesting is he weighed in and he was 6'2", 220. Mm -hmm. I think going in, people thought, 6'1", 200, mm. 6'1", 205. So now you're talking 6'2", 220, has lost three times since high school in his entire life and can throw the ball fine and is amazing on the board and is obviously a leader and has done that with a bunch of alphas at Michigan. It was cool to watch him. He was celebratory for everybody at the Combine. If you see Worthy's 40, it's J.J. McCarthy running down and celebrating with him first. Like, I think he had a really, really good week. Um, does it make him a surefire top 10 pick? I don't know if he did anything that's going to say yes. Put, put yeah. it in the card right now. Well, that's the thing. We're not talking about – of course, he should be drafted and go on and hopefully have a great career. We're talking about him going to the top 10. And, look, I, we're in an era of, of phenoms and freaks physically, athletically. I, I, I kind of want some of that. 32 straight times. It's not his fault. He's not calling the plays. But – I, I think I think he's in danger of there's a comp that that jumps to mind and it's it's AJ McCarron and it's a guy who's mm. a winner and winner and winner and is almost exactly the same size about 6'2", 215, 220 and AJ McCarron did not go on to win Super Bowls he had a long career and we love him and everything but that's not a top ten pick you fall in love with a guy who wins and there's this old fashioned thing about winning but like I I don't really remember much of substance about Patrick Mahomes' college career I know he put up a lot of numbers Josh Allen's college career no one really saw like. I don't really care that much that you won. I really don't. As a quarterback, it's not. I don't. It's yeah. fine. I get it. I don't think it's irrelevant. But, like, with those guys on the board in top ten and I'm looking at the quarterback field in the NFL yeah. right now, I'm like, man, he won. It just give me someone who's you think really athletic. Do you think it matters how you win in college to the oh, point yeah. of, like, for J.J. McCarthy or A.J. McCarron, when these guys have first-round draft picks around them or for J.J. McCarthy, you're running a ball 100 yeah. times. Jamie, what was the number? 18 different players from Michigan were at the combine? Yes, it was the highest. 18, yeah. highest ever. Yeah. 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 That's I don't want to crucify the kid. I hate that. Yeah, He's yeah, like an yeah, awesome yeah. guy, and I really respect what he did. Top 10 pick, rare air, rare air. Definitely. And I was going to talk about Joe Milton because to me, like somebody like him, you go into combine where you're not expected to be these top guys and you put up some of these crazy throwing numbers, how far you throw, how hard you throw it. It was so impressive. And Peter, you said it earlier, people killed you for posting his 70 yard throw because it's like, oh, who cares? But to me, like that's a lot of what the combine is because we're looking at all these quarterbacks and you talked about everybody's a short fire Hall of Famer. Nobody really criticized anybody. You said JJ missed a few throws, but Michael Penix did great, Bo Nix did great. It seemed like every quarterback that went out there and threw the ball, we talk about how great of a passer they were, how great they looked in the t-shirt and the shorts. The three guys that are going to go off the board first, probably, none of those guys even competed. So I look at this uh, and it's like, it's fun to talk about and it's fascinating for these guys to get out there, especially to me, like a Michael Penix Jr. and show what you can do. He's already at the top, though. So I look at it and you're missing three of the guys that are yeah. the guys, but then we criticize a guy like Joe Melton because he threw the ball 70 yards, but that's their opportunity when I'm not as high as these other guys. I have to showcase something to try to get in that conversation. Another really polarizing name I found, at least on social media and the reaction to his workout was Bo Nix coming mm. out of that weekend. I don't know if it's because the guy played 61 college football yeah. games. Like, is it almost like too much of a good thing? People <laughs> were getting on him like, oh yeah, these routes are fine, but just wait until he's like shorthanding a screen <laughs> pass. It's like, don't blame the guy for the playbook that he was operating within. And he did well at Oregon and he did fine at, at Auburn. And the growth and the development that this 24 year old man is going to have and arrive with and experience wise from the NCAA to the NFL, I think is invaluable. He had a good day. Same with, kind of same with JJ McCarthy. He made good throws. He missed some, but he had a really good presence about him too. And the the way people were kind of 
ripping Bo Nix. At times, it felt like you go to click on that person's profile, it's like, oh, you are an Auburn fan or Oregon fan, and you just maybe didn't like the fact that he lost a game or two and you didn't want it. But I thought Bo Nix handled himself well, too, Peter, and he, he could be a late round or a late first round guy, too. Yeah, and he did the Senior Bowl, which everyone yeah. loves because as far as a competitor, I don't think late round. I think Bo Nix is a day two pick. Like, mm. I think he's a guy that goes in the second, third, or fourth round. Mm -hmm. I, it, you know, McCarthy, we go back to him, it's like, Giants have the sixth pick. Mm -hmm. Daniel Jones has one more year to prove it, obviously. Like, that's going to be a real fork. Is that too rich yeah. six overall yes. for McCarthy? I feel yeah. like I've just heard so many people over so many years say, this young man, this young man, this young man, he's a winner, he's a winner. Right. I've heard it about A.J. McCarron and Colt McCoy. I've heard it about Tebow. Like, Tebow. I don't like that when it comes to the first thing to say is, he's a winner. I, I understand there's a lot to like. Sixth overall. How about Atlanta, eight? It's high, man. It's really high. I don't want that big of a doubt, that yeah. high. So the, the the overall thought is that in some order, it would be Caleb one and then May and Daniels. They'll all be gone in the top five. Yeah. And then it's this like great unknown for McCarthy, Penix, Knicks, yeah. Penix, all those, guys. all those guys. And it's, you know, Daniel Jeremiah suggested we could have five or six in the first round. Like they are like mm -hmm. maybe Nick sneaks into mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. round. McCarthy to me might be the most fascinating because of the chicken and the egg. Amazing winner, amazing decorated career. As an individual, is he the one that's going to go into a new room and take a team and lift them and hoist a Lombardi? 